Where will the runs come from? Will Ben Sheets be fully healthy? Those questions and more answered by Joe Stiglitz of the Oakland Tribune. He joins us now. Joe, the big name that jumps out right off the bat is what they did in the offseason. Ben Sheets, one year, $10 million. What can we expect from him right away? Well, you know what? The A's are just hoping he's healthy to start the season. And if he is, he should be a really good ace at the top of their rotation. They've already said he's going to be the opening day starter. And, uh, you know, it looks good so far in camp. Seems like he's a pretty, pretty positive guy in the clubhouse. He's got a real good sense of humor with the media and everything. And he's just hoping to have a healthy season after missing all last year with an, after elbow surgery. So if he is healthy and throwing like Ben Sheets usually does, he's going to be a really good established ace uh, at the top of their rotation. Joe, with this team, a couple questions at a couple positions remain. First base being one of them. What's the latest there? I think going into camp right now and going into the season, uh, Derek Barton is going to be the guy. I think he's penciled in as a starter right now. He'll have to, you know, he'll have to hold on to the job throughout the spring. Um, Eric Chavez is a guy who's probably going to play some first base. He's trying to come off a, a lot of injuries, a second back surgery, and the A's are looking at Chavez as kind of like a utility type player. But if he stays healthy and he's hitting. I could see him getting some playing time at first base also, maybe a little bit of third base. But going in, Barton will be the guy at first base. The wild card is their top prospect, Chris Carter, real big kid, uh, slugger-type guy. He hit about 320 last year, uh, split between double-A and triple-A. So he's the one guy who could – he's kind of the unknown. If he comes out and has a great spring, he could force his way on the roster, and maybe he'd be the first baseman. Joe, what about at shortstop? Last year, Cliff Pennington took over halfway through this season. Kind of surprised a lot of people. Is he ready to be the go-to guy? Well, they got him penciled in. Cliff's going to be the starter at shortstop to start this season. He finished there last year after they traded Orlando Cabrera, and they traded Cabrera partly to, to give Pennington a shot, a trial run as a shortstop. And he's the guy going in, but I tell you, the A's made a lot of efforts to bring in shortstops this offseason. They, they made a pretty good offer to Marco Scudero, they ended up trading for a guy named Adam Rosales, who's a backup infielder. He could play all over the place, but they wanted him because he's good at shortstop in case they need to put him in there. So Pennington is the guy, but I think the A's know that he's never had a full season at shortstop, so they want some insurance as well. Joe, when you look at strengths of this team, pitching and strength amount around the bases, would you say those are the two? What else? Yeah, they're pitching strong. You know, their bullpen is especially deep. They're going to have one of the best bullpens in the American League. I mean, they had a, a real good closer, Andrew Bailey, a rookie who kind of just burst on the scene last year. He was rookie of the year. They have Michael Wirtz, who's a really good setup guy to get him the ball. And they're hoping Joey Devine comes back. Joey Devine this last year with Tommy John surgery. and He's another closer type guy they could have in a setup role. So, you know, if they're healthy, they've got a good starting rotation, which should lead into a good bullpen, and um, they like their defense. They added Coco Crisp in center field. You have Kevin Kuzminoff at third base. He's a pretty solid glove. So they weren't quite that strong, and they're a little bit shaky defensively last year overall, and they're hoping to be better this year. Their GM known for getting a lot out of a small payroll. Is there any reason to expect Oakland uh, to surprise in the AL West? You know, I think they'll be a better team than last year. I think they can get up near 500. They've had a losing record the past three seasons, and they haven't, that hasn't happened in a while. So I think they'll be a better team, especially if Sheets and Justin Dukeshire stay healthy atop the rotation. Um, I think they can be better. I think they can challenge for a 500 record. The question is, what's that, how good is that going to be in the American League West? You know, I think all, I think all four teams are going to be better. I think the Angels are still a tough team. I think Texas and Seattle will be a lot better. So I could see the A's being better than they were last year, but maybe still having a hard time breaking out of the cellar. So I think they'll be better. It's just a matter of, you know, that's going to be good enough to move up in the division. Sure. Can the A's compete in an AL West that got stronger and more competitive over the winter? Only time will tell. You can track it right here on CBSSports.com. For Joe Stiglitz, I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.